Hey guys, we're part way through the week. We are plugging along. Um, I hope your week has been good, better than mine. Not that mine's been terrible. Um, I think the the challenge is that juggling the sick kid and the work and the and all of that. Um, there was a comment that I read and it had something to do, uh, kind of going back to that, like, you don't look sick type thing. Um, and I realized as I, you know, as Josh and I talk about different things with like, should I go on disability? Should I, I think in my own head too, I, I kind of have that feeling of like, Yes, I feel sick. I do. I mean, I'm exhausted. Like, I didn't lay down today for a nap, and I, yeah, I'm not doing so hot. Um, as far as, like, I just feel so drained. Um, I can't drive anymore, at least no more than, like, a couple minutes from home, um, just because I am so fatigued that it's not safe. Um, there's all of these things that on the outside, like I still have my hair. It's, I'm not that, you know, quintessential cancer patient who's going through chemo and all of that. But I do still have all of these side effects from my illness, as well as from the medications that I'm taking. And I think it's all like that visual aspect of that. I don't look sick and I'm trying to kind of do the fake it till you make it. Um, that I keep, I think, talking myself out of the possibility of maybe I do need to slow down. I don't, does that make sense? I, I hope that makes sense. Um, and so I really need to wrap my head around that because when I can't get through an entire day without taking a nap, like, what does that say about my health? Um, I mean, granted, everyone should be able to take a nap. It would be a, probably a much happier world if we could all take a nap in the middle of the day. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around that whole idea of like, if I do need to take a step back and I do need to go on leave, um, that it's not a failure or anything like that. And that yes, I am sick. And Josh made a really, really great point last night, which was, you know, if you do, like, this isn't going away. And it would give you that opportunity before Rayla's in school and all that to spend more quality time with her, especially if the worst were to happen and I were no longer here. I would at least have that time with her. Um, granted he made me almost cry talking about that. Um, but yeah, so there's all these thoughts kind of going through my head and I'm kind of struggling with it. My big thing, um, that I think I've been holding off on is one, I want to see what this scan, my next scan shows, um, that I think in my head and in my heart, um, is going to go a long way to one decision or the other. Um, that's coming up on the 17th, if the 17th is a Monday. Um, so I'm sure that scan anxiety is going to be ramping up here really, really soon. Um, cause it's like two weeks away. Oh, geez. Um, so that's part of, that's part of it. Um, there's a big milestone at work that I've been really working towards since I got into the position that I'm in and we're almost there. Like we're a couple weeks away from, um, implementing a new software to maintain our records requests. There's never been a software or anything besides an Excel spreadsheet that has tracked our stuff before. So, um, there's a big thing that I've been pushing for and working really hard toward. And I want to make sure that if I do have to step away, that is in place because that's going to make a huge difference in someone's ability to step into my place and process all of these things. Um, and yeah, so I want to make sure that that's there and then whatever the test results come back as, that's another. I feel like I'm really rambling today and yeah, so 
we will see. I'm, I really, I need to, I guess, I don't know if it's like come to terms or come to a better understanding and agreement with myself internally as time passes and this disease does not go away. Um, I appreciate all of you guys though, because every single day I come on here and I ramble and I talk and sometimes about the same thing that I've talked about before, but you're always here and you offer your words of encouragement and it brings a lot of joy to my life, which I appreciate. Some of you guys have asked like, what are your hobbies? <laughs> you guys are kind of my hobbies. And because it, it feels at this point more than a hobby. It feel like this YouTube thing feels very much more like a necessity. Um, I really didn't think posting a daily video was something I could do long term. Um, I was like, what am I going to talk about? Uh, um, but you guys have provided me an amazing outlet and a connection with other people who some of you who have gone through the same thing or who are going through the same thing or you have family members who are um and just this little community that we have built and seeing your names and your pictures or your husband's pictures um every day is is a wonderful thing so thank you for that Okay, well, I will stop jabbering on for now. I appreciate you guys, of course, as always. Be kind, make good choices, and I will see you tomorrow.